<clears throat> welcome to this class of strength of materials and we are covering the centroid center of gravity and movement of inertia chapter and this is our first class and we are going to understand some basic concepts like center of gravity and centroid of bodies and basic definition and basic understanding of how we can know about center of gravity and centroid so let's begin with the center of gravity now center of gravity g of a body is the point where weight of whole body acts okay now <clears throat> if you have a body like your mobile phone or any other thing right now the weight of particles is everywhere right because like this is a body here is particle here is particle here is particle this particle have a weight too like w1 this have a weight too like w2 and this have a weight too w3 okay but when we talk about the weight of a body we don't talk about all these weights we talk about just one weight right resultant weight right let's say it be w which is w1 plus w2 plus w3 and now we know the weight of the individual these elements act at that point right like the weight of this one acts exactly right here now when we, we don't talk about all these weights we just talk about one weight and it is total weight and where does it act it's act, it acts at some point of this body of the whole body okay and that point where the whole weight of this body act is called the center of gravity okay and it is denoted by g so here is the point g like you can lift your tablet on your finger by guessing its center of gravity and holding it on your finger like in this figure i have lifted this uh, tablet android phone on just my finger because the weight of all of this mobile phone okay all of this mobile phone is acting right at this point okay this is the center of gravity okay g and i am i put my finger just below the this point okay that's why i am able to hold it like this so you can say <coughs> center of gravity of a body is where weight of the whole body okay or the total weight acts okay like if you have this circular thing now here are elements everywhere with different masses different and different weights right now we don't what when we talk about the center of gravity it acts at the center okay because it's a symmetric body and the density is uniform anyways let's move on center of gravity of bodies with symmetrical shapes and uniform density lies at their geometric center okay now look at this circle circle is a symmetric body right it is symmetric similarly we have square square is also a symmetric body now if the body is symmetrical and it have a uniform density okay uniform density okay and symmetrical then its center of gravity acts exactly at the center okay okay i have given an example of a cookie that you eat of circular shape lies at central right the things you eat 
like the cookies packet the cookies are of this shape or some cakes okay now look at this diagram here a crane is lifting this body right this body is lifted by this crane now if you see here if you draw a line from now see it is connected to this from at this point and this point and these two wires are connected to this pulley right here okay now if you draw a line it will pass exactly through the center of gravity this is the reason we we uh, connected these wires at these points okay such that the resultant this line and this line the resultant of this line is this line now these lines these points are located such a way such that the resultant acts through the center of gravity okay okay now let's talk about centroid now in uh, center of gravity we talk about weights okay and in centroid it is same as center of gravity but we here we talk about areas okay we don't talk about weights weights is center of gravity if we are talking about areas it is centroid now centroid centroid of a plane is uh, sorry centroid of a plane area is the point where whole area of your body or system of connected bodies is assumed to act okay the way i give definition of the center of gravity it is the point where the total weight acts right now the centroid is the point now see if you consider this body you can consider elements like this right right here this have area something a1 this have a2 this have a3 here can be another element a4 now when we talk about these areas when we talk the area of this body the circular body we don't talk about all the areas right we just talk about simple one area and th that is the area of the whole body and the point where it is assumed okay it's just an assumption where the area of whole diagram okay of the whole diagram acts that point is called as centroid okay centroid of a body is the uh, point where whole area of a body or system of connected bodies is assumed to act, act. now what i mentioned here the system of connected bodies because a body cannot be just made of one it can be made of different bodies like you have a motorcycle right if you have a motorcycle <coughs> or a bicycle like this let me draw a bicycle okay now we can talk about the where is the center of gravity of this body right now see this body is made of this wire uh, this uh, wait let me check the color this cycle okay this is a system of connected bodies right because this this wheel is connected to this and this wheel is connected at this and these two points are connected with this and then this and and a seat right is connected here i mean these are all this is a system right this whole is a system okay and we can again talk about the center of gravity now if we, if i talk about the center of gravity of this bicycle what what you would say it is the point where the total weight or the net weight of this body acts okay it could be like this this could be the center of gravity okay it can be sometimes center of gravity can be uh uh an imaginary point to it. it is not important that it acts at the material part okay it may act at nowhere 
I mean it can act away from the material part okay anyways or that's why I have written here centroid of plane area is a point where whole area of body or system of connected bodies is assumed to act okay now here are some important points about centroid and center of gravity first is this one centroid or center of gravity of plane bodies is same point and numerical method to find center of gravity and centroid of plane bodies is same okay the first thing is centroid or center of gravity of plane bodies is same point let me tell you what uh, let me insert some space here see if I draw a symmetrical body like a circle okay now its center of gravity is where it is at the center okay G or centroid and its centroid is at the same point okay because this body is symmetric okay also it have uniform density okay if the density is not uniform the center of although the centroid will be the same point but because of the non-uniform density the center of gravity point will shift out of the centroid now because this is symmetric right this is a symmetric figure now it's also uniform density and also and what this body is plain okay this point this is plain planar body I mean say uh, if if I draw an XC system here okay let let us say this is x axis and this is y axis now there is third dimension to write like z axis okay in the z axis the thickness of this circle is negligible and the body is only in x and y plane okay because it is plane therefore the centroid and the center of gravity will exactly coincide okay they will be the same one point now we have another point too the centroid center of gravity of symmetric planes plane figures symmetric plane figures like square and circle is their geometric center okay now if a body is plane like a circle or a square <coughs> okay if if I tell you where is the geometric center of this circle you will say somewhere here right we call this as center O and if it is radius R this is the geometric center right I'm not talking about centroid now it is because it is symmetrical and it is also what plane therefore its centroid and center of gravity will be same right and they act at the geometric center okay this is the geometric center and here will be the G at this point also this body is symmetric right it is also plane right it is symmetric it's plane of, and of course uniform density therefore the geometric center will be somewhere here right when we connect the diagonals if we connect the diagonals like this this will be the geometric center right therefore the centroid will, will coincide with the geometric center okay here will be g at this point and this will be the this will also be the uh, centroid as well as the center uh, center of gravity okay i think that's it for this class and in the next class we will be talking uh, uh, talking about numerical methods of how to exactly find and locate numerically the centroid or center of gravity of mostly the plane figures okay and one more thing if you want the pdf 
okay PDF format of this video lecture you can find it in the description okay or in the comments you can download the PDF of this video lecture right there okay and I think that's it for this class see you in the next class thank you